make sure you have a coffee cup or container under the dispenser before using the single or double function. Push either the single shot or double shot filter into the porta filter. Make sure there are coffee beans in the bean hopper. Place the porta filter within the grinder cradle. Press the grind button one time for a single. Quickly press the grind button twice for a double. When grinding is complete, remove the porta filter and gently tap to even out the coffee grounds. Tamp down firmly using the tamper. Clear away any excess grounds from the rim of the porta filter. Tamping clears out air pockets to avoid water channeling through the grounds. Place the porta filter with pressed coffee puck into the group head at a 45 degree angle and rotate it to the right until it locks into place. Press the single or double button to begin brewing. When brewing is complete, dispose of coffee grounds, rinse the porta filter, then dry. After every single or double cycle, your machine will cool down by slowly releasing excess water into the drip tray. Do not remove the drip tray until the process is complete. There may also be excess hot water in the porta filter. Be cautious when disposing of grounds. The steam function can be used to steam milk and other liquids. Please caution. To avoid possible burns, do not touch any liquids or the steam wand during or after steaming. Do not remove the pitcher until steaming is complete. Always hold the milk pitcher by the handle. Make sure the control knob is always in the neutral position when not using the steam and hot water functions. The steam wand swivels for easier use. Do not pull on the steam wand. Turn the control knob on the front of the espresso machine to steam. Make sure the steam wand is pointed towards the drip tray, as it will clear out some water during preheating. Once steam starts to come out, switch the knob to neutral position and quickly insert the wand into the milk. Continue the steaming process by turning the control knob back to steam. If there is a delay longer than a few seconds between heating and steaming, the heating will shut off and need to be repeated. Turn the control knob back to neutral when complete. Use a hot, wet cloth to wipe off the steam wand after every use. It is also recommended to purge the steam wand after every use by quickly turning the steam back on for a short time. After every steam cycle, your machine will automatically release internal pressure by slowly pumping excess water and steam into the drip tray. Steam coming out of the drip tray is normal during this process. Do not remove the drip tray until the process is complete. If you are using the hot water function after steaming, allow the machine to dispense excess steam before using. Hot water volume and temperature can be adjusted with the Smart HQ app. Place your desired cup or the milk pitcher provided under the steam wand. Turn the control knob on the front of the espresso machine to hot water. Fill your cup to your desired amount. If the dispense is not stopped manually by the user, the machine will continue to dispense until a programmed volume is set. Turn the control knob back to neutral when complete.